who I'm going to talk about, who I feel is a very strong leader, is Thomas Robinson. I'm sure he isn't talked about much nationally, but on March 18, 1991, a leader was born. Born in Washington, D.C., raised by his mother, Lisa Robinson. Thomas grew up only knowing basketball, attending high school at Brewster Academy in Wolfburg, New Hampshire. He earned several honors while there, including First Team Prep All-American, a Parade All-American selection, and Reebok All-Star selection. When he was a junior, he went to Riverdale Baptist High School in up, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. He was rated the number seven power forward in the class of 2009 by RatedRivals.com. All the Division I schools wanted Robinson. He stunned the coaches with his leadership abilities on and off the court. But on October 11, 2008, Robinson was about to make one of the most important decisions of his life. On October 11th is when Thomas was going to decide where he was going to attend college at and also continue to play basketball. So on October 11th, Thomas declared to the University of Kansas, home of the Jayhawks. As a freshman, Robinson played in 33 games with one start and averaged seven minutes, three points, uh, three points a game, and 2.7 rebounds per game. As a sophomore, he played in 33 games with two starts and averaged 14.6 minutes, 7.6 points, and 6.4 rebounds. Robinson began his junior year, and the 2011-2012 men's college basketball season came along, and he was one of the candidates for the preseason John R. Wooden Award, along with senior teammate Tyshawn Taylor. Robinson was expected to become one of the leaders of, of the Kansas team. On December 31, 2011, in a game against the University of North Dakota, Robinson scored 30 points and grabbed 21 rebounds. He was the first Kansas player to achieve a 30-20 game since Wayne Hightower scored 36 points and grabbed 21 rebounds in 1961, playing against the University of Missouri. At the end of the Big 12 Conference regular season, Robinson was second in the nation with 22 double-doubles. Robinson averaged 18 points and 11.9 rebounds. On March 4, 2012, Robinson was named the 2012 Big 12 Player of the Year. All Big 12 awards are selected by the league head coaches, which proved that Thomas worked hard for what he had. On March 5, 2012, he was named the Associated Big, uh, Press Big 12 Player of the Year. But you would think that Thomas Robinson had it made through all his success playing basketball. But during Robinson's sophomore year, he lost both of his grandparents in a week, a week apart. And a week later, Thomas got a heartbreaking call from his little nine-year-old sister, Jayla, notifying him that his mother had died of a heart attack at the age of 37. This is tragic news for Robinson. He then took a leave, from, a leave of absence from the team to go back to Maryland to attend his mother's funeral and comfort nine-year-old Jayla. After the loss of his mother, Robinson became a father figure for his little sister, always being there for her. He called and talked to her every day and even flew her out to Kansas from Maryland to come to a lot of his games. And at the same time, he continued to play basketball at the University of Kansas and only happened to miss just one game. Through the hard times for him, Thomas had the support of his team. He told them not to treat him any different just because that he lost his grandparents and his mother. While he, while he was having the support of his team, Robinson continued to have success on the court and still was leader on the court while only a sophomore. Robinson is an amazing leader. I have so much respect for Robinson because after losing his mom, he could have stopped everything he was doing and went along on another track and lost all he had. But he continued to strive for, for perfection and never gave up. He used the loss of his loved ones as, a motiv as motivation and stepped up as a leader for himself and his little sister. I can relate to his story somewhat, but I still have my mother and grandparents. But I was raised with only my little brother and sister. I came to college just for them. To show them, just because no one from our family has graduated or attended a four-year university, it is still possible. Look at what I'm doing now. I will continue to show them how to be successful in life. I use Thomas Robinson's story as a motivation to stay in school and show my siblings what is right because that is what an older brother is supposed to do as a leader.